failure, betrayal, and murder. Oh, this heist is not going well. Welcome guys, Celeviathan here, back with another reaction today. Today we are continuing up Dragon Age Absolution. We're on episode 3. And last episode, man, the heist got started and it was exciting. You know, we finally met the, the guy Rizarin Amacine, um, the Magister of uh, Tevinter Imperium. And essentially, he wants the Circulum Infinitus for himself as well. Now, we learn what the Circulum Infinitus can actually do. It's a means of being able to raise the dead by 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 sacrificing another person to do that right but this is all in theory because as Amacine stated the circle of infinitus has never been used before so the heist kind of kicks off you know we get a bit of our plan going we have uh, people some people guarding the exit some people on distraction duty and some others going to go secure the circulum but Fairbanks was it was a betrayer man he ended up attacking Safira trying to secure the circulum for himself and it kind of made everything go to shit you know <laughs> we learned a little bit more about Miriam's past and uh, uh, what happened when she was into Vinter and the um, her like abusive I guess slave master and how she ended up how everything kind of succeeded into eventually killing her slave master and Amazine catching that but Miriam definitely hates him and I don't really know why so I hope we explore a little bit more about that at the end you know miriam sees fairbanks kind of um kind of like wounded until he dies and then they catch miriam over his body so now it looks as though like she was the betrayer instead of him so who knows what's gonna happen with that but lachlan and um and roland both saw that so we're gonna get started with this reaction don't forget to like share and subscribe guys turn on notifications down below so you know when i upload next and if you guys have any other things kind of like dragon Age up solution that you want to recommend me go right ahead man i love the recommendations and i appreciate them just as much <laughs> but without further ado we're gonna get started with dragon age absolution episode three the serpent's coils let's go bro this looks so bad <laughs> so bad i'm going to assume there's an explanation there has to be a i had nothing to do with this I found him here just like you. You weren't at your post? Where's Hira? Screw Hira! You still have a dead body to explain. Yeah. I didn't kill him. <laughs> Yo, Lachlan's serious right now. Miriam's the only person who didn't care about the artifact. Those aren't stab wounds on his body. And this whole thing is a complete mess. And you don't do messy. At least, you didn't used to. Nice, yo. Nice. That's some good rationality right there. He's like, the wounds that he has is not even close to what she even uses. Look, I know you want answers. I do too, but we're not gonna get any right now. We need to focus on saving the others. We'll hide the body, circle back to the vault, pick up our people, and run. Even if I think you are innocent, I'm not going back up there. I like being alive. Why are you so afraid? You're the one with the bag of grenades. Emergency grenades! This whole thing turned into a huge shit show very quickly just because of damn Fairbanks. Ugh, why did he want the circulum? What was his goals? Lachlan? Fine, I'll go. But until we know who's responsible for all this, I'm holding on to the circle thing. Ugh. Circulum. Whatever. Well, there goes my last vain hope that this was an accident. Everyone that was on watch, secure the palace perimeter. Everyone else, you're with me. But first, open it. You are the highest ranking magister here, which means your safety is my first concern. I don't need your protection. I don't care what you need. <laughs> she loves him so much and, and, him, and, him, and him as well. I think I'm just making a lot of stupid uh, assumptions, though. Please, just... I'll secure the vault. First priority. Thank you. All right, we'll head for the cathedral. Clear things out room by room, just like we trained. If we see any sign of who caused this, I'll reassess. But you said- I know what I said, but I'm not putting an artifact above people's lives. I like that though. She was, she's not down with the Circulum Infinitus at all. Is this what its security system is? It just makes everybody zombies? You a 
are ready to walk away from all this. <laughs> Just because we're gonna die doesn't mean I can't enjoy a good old-fashioned slaughter. Come on. That looks like Quidian's work. She must have been on her way back when she got attacked by something. Went that way. That big lava monster from last episode. If Quidian's on the move, she's in less danger than Hera. We'll find her on the way back, I promise. Don't worry, Rolls. Quidian can handle herself. I think Quidian can handle herself, yeah. She's a pretty powerful mage. <laughs> I've been told, but I couldn't just leave you here. Where's Fairbanks? Let's get you out first. There's got to be some kind of release. Couldn't find one. It was the first thing I checked. Then it's got to be out here. On the bright side, you're probably the safest person in this place. I am a magister, and a powerful one at that. It makes no sense to lock me up when somebody could be out there right now robbing the divine. Man, sit your ass down. You ain't going nowhere. There are things more important <laughs> than the chain of command, Neb. Freaking, who's this Neb guy? He needs to take off his mask. I really want to see this guy's face. It seems that the Neb guy and Amacene have like some kind of connection there a little bit. Pronounced They're really putting it work. Like this is a full-on army of monsters. We can't hold them all forever. Almost there. Miriam, stop! You're only dulling your blades and wasting time. Listen to me. That bastard Fairbanks attacked me. He stole the circulum and ran. She has the circulum, man. Fairbanks is gone. Was hurt too. Gave the circulum to me then. Died in my arms. But why would he do that? What was it? What was his purpose? Miriam, you have to take it to Kirkwall now. Kirkwall? I thought the Inquisition agent was in Orlais. Fairbanks at that meeting. I have my own contact in Kirkwall at a place called the Hanged Man. Nice job, Sophia. Don't trust. Don't trust anything that Fairbanks has, has set up, man. Cal, keep your shield up. Eyes open, Rankin. Keep pushing. It's just another drill. <laughs> To remember my drill mates, trying so hard to rip me to pieces. I love this girl with her hammer though too. She's like such a berserker. Girl's dealing with so much right now. <laughs> she, she's gonna chase with all these damn zombies. Oh, come on! <laughs> I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. I hate this. And it was definitely the elves. I knew it. I knew it. No one, no one would help the elves at all in this type of situation. This place is unstable as heck right now. Oh no, they're like an underground cavern. I remember earlier seeing something that opened its eye. Was that a dragon? Ned, itself? Stand aside. Cause remember remember in the vault there was a dragon statue right above it. Was that actually like a petrified dragon part of its security system? This way. It might be. It might be. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. <laughs> Oh no, man. 
I think she's gonna lose Safira here. But that's not an actual dragon then. It's actually like a dragon statue that's been like animated to look like a dragon, but somehow it's breathing fire. Is it just me? Or these things are getting faster? Nah man, they're just getting tired. This is this is just Oh no man! The, the sub bosses came out! <laughs> Oh god. Oh god. Wait, no. You had to use the whole damn bag. That was stupid. He didn't need to use the whole damn bag. <laughs> Time's up. What are you doing? Saving you. Damn, man. I guess that dream about having a little farm where they can be together is never gonna happen. I just cut you back. Oh, Maker's titties. Why are there so damn many of you? That. I need that. Oh, that's cool. She's gonna use it as a lightning rod. Oh, I was like trying to wonder what she's gonna do with that thing. Oh, that was pretty smart. I like that. Amanda, can't hold forever. We have to find an opening. Remember what I told you? Never take your eyes off the enemy. Let's see if he knows that too. I like how she leads her men. Like they have they have a lot of faith and trust in her. So that's how you know that's a good leader. Nope, they're gone. They're gone. What? We gotta get out of here. There's no way to save them. What? How do how do they know about the tunnel? You did this, didn't you? You're the reason all my friends are dead. At least I can take one of you with me. So good to see you. Why did he kill that guy? Wasn't he wasn't he part of their team? Sister? Okay, alright. Okay. So he called her sister. So I think Razar and Amacine was that little kid in the background when she was playing with him and she put her, the bunny in and he fell down? I think that was him. Quick recap of this episode. This episode was really, really good too. Oh my god, like, I, I didn't expect it to... Everything kind of just kind of was building up. These zombies were kind of taking over everything. And it was making it... It was kind of like picking up the pace for, for a lot of the uh, trying to escape here. Essentially, they decided that, you know, we got to at least try to save... At least try to save everybody. And I don't think Miriam would have been satisfied just leaving Safira there without at least knowing what the hell happened to her, right? But in the end, you know, Safira, I think, cannot survive that. I think she's, she's done. So them kind of fighting through these zombie hordes was cool to see. It was cool to see um, Quidian kind of doing her own thing too, holding her own. And even even 
like seeing moments where people could could easily leave and, and think about self-preservation but they still go back and try to help and save people Tasia oh I I, I kind of looked thought she stood out last uh, last episode to me her being like the commander and, and being a berserker too with the hammer but seeing her lead her men was really was really awesome too I liked how they all believed in her and listened to her like like she knew what she was doing and she even inspired them to keep working hard right that's a good leader right there but she seems to have a weak spot for Amacene which shouldn't shouldn't be good because it looks as though Mr. Rezarin here kind of kept co coming in like getting all agitated that his circulum was being like broken into and stolen and whatnot. Him kind of coming in the end there, Amacene, um, and attacking that guard was was interesting. And then he ends up calling Miriam his sister. So. Yeah, great episode, honestly. Now things, things they don't seem to have escaped now, sadly. I thought they were going to get away, but they didn't. It seemed that the tunnel was flooded with, uh, it seemed that they knew where they were going to be going. So that sucks, but it's going to just pick up. This heist is getting good. It's getting good, guys. Um, I think I'm going to leave it off here for today. I will see you guys around. Take care and have yourselves a great rest of your day. Bye.